Hey there. Just thought I'd uh, leave this in this statement. I was going to clean up this mess before uh, starting this video, but this mess here is really the subject of this video. You see all these things open here. Uh, programs, control panel, and configuration settings, toggle keys, ease of access center, system, advanced system settings, uh, uh, what do we call personalization, uh, and then, then there's a search here to do the sounds. Okay, control the service task scheduler was up. Map back up. Uh, oh, well, I don't know where I'm somewhere in here. Uh, this here is up. Process monitor. Uh, list of processes. What, what do you if if you were to take this this gathering of, of things? What do you suppose is going on with my systems? Well, I mean, there's, there's kind of a there's some health here in this search phrase. What I was trying to find out was how come all well, my system sounds it had turned off. Well, sorry, turned off. And then I turn, maybe turn them back on, and then they turn off again. <laughs> well, the turning off part, I don't, I don't know why it turned off, but I think that has something to do with uh, power settings. You know, like um, uh, if, the, if, you, if you know, something is inactive for a long enough period of time, it, uh, that service just turns off. <clears throat> Okay, well, let, let, me just, let me just compound that with the other thing that I'm looking at here, which I can't, again, uh, is this uh, process monitor, where, now I'm going to show you my, what my new desktop looks like first, just, just to help you understand. I've gone for the minimal minimalist uh, well I've got one icon left on my desktop. However, I can bring back uh, two familiar ones. What's it called? Okay. Now um, you can't tell. But I can run another instance of it. Uh, let's see now, how do I run another instance of media encoder? I have to get a just run run the program. Windows. Components. Now, the thing about the uh, media encoder, and I've explained this probably a thousand times, this is a backup, okay? It's this icon. This icon and this icon look nearly the same. One is the internet, and the other one stops the recording, right? I don't want to see this. I just want that picture to change. So what I did was, I uh, first I changed the icon of the program. No, notice this, by the way, it's still that thing. Okay. However, uh, I'll run this. This this shouldn't do anything because it's. Um, you know, it's not a special session or anything. You see, I couldn't get this icon to change. That's the icon of the main window. Even though I changed the icon of the program, I changed, uh, I, I, this didn't change. 
Okay, and nor did nor did uh, the icon on the desktop for um, well, if this is this is a link to a WNE file, which links to media encoder, media encoder, and this now this icon is just coming from another file. But when I set the icon to the program itself, it, it didn't become that icon, it became this circle thing. And as you can see, all these things are getting are, are still not changing their icon. Even though I just ran it, and you just saw that um, it, it had the window icon had finally taken <coughs> well now what I did I didn't make backups of the other ones I changed. Let's see if I go by date modify. Let's see. Well, I didn't really modify that one. Uh, okay. These ones I modified and some DLLs. In these DLLs, there could be. No, I checked all of them. These three contain icon resources. In particular, I figured this was at least one of these two would uh, ha would have another copy of that same cir circle thing, and they did, <clears throat> and I replaced them in a in another directory. Uh, you know, for, so I could do it in MS Dev and not have to be an administrator. I copied the whole all this stuff to another directory which I probably still have and then I deleted it I think it was uh, encoder okay but anyway I, I had a I don't know, maybe it was here. Somewhere in here, I had made it just a attempt directory to make the modifications, copy the files back, and as you see, as you saw, uh, and, and I also changed the icons of the other EXEs to be not the one I don't want. And I'm thinking, well, where the hell is it finding this icon? Right? So, uh, now this is sort of not related to my sound problem, but par partially related to it. I, what I did was I ran the process monitor, okay? And uh, just, I was just looking at Explorer because what I was curious about was why the icon that Explorer takes Right, because this is part of Explorer, is not coming from the application, but coming from somewhere else, right? And um, now I don't know if it was this user assist, but it might have been in the log. Um, uh, yeah, this this looks right. It was something like this. Now all these weird keys, and and they look like it looks like you know viruses or something, right? Uh, see the names of everything are all weird. Looks like check or something. You know, you know the people that write viruses and stuff. But I should have realized. <laughs> I went online. I go online, and I, I chose one of these at random, and uh, I wonder if it's still in my history. And only one result came up. Believe it or not, to, to really add to my paranoia, the sin the single result that came up when I copied one of those things was where are you? Yeah, this is, is this it? Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Here's the single result. Okay. Root kit scan, right? I'm looking through this thing. Oh my God! I've got a root kit. And if you look at what the what the thing is in the registry, it looks like. And actually, I guess this is theoretically possible. You could you could do this if you wanted to. Where is that regimen? You could make if you wanted to. Because you can have binary values, and this is sort of a directory type structure, you could invent. Um, what is this? What are the ones that look like file names? You see? Uh, there's a red jacket. If you go to this place, this user assist. And you look at all these things here. All right. Now those look like uh, file names, and in fact, some of them have drive letters. See, you, you could, if you wanted to, you could create a whole file system inside of the registry. And I'm thinking that that's what's going on, right? The little the little bugs have, have started to build a, a whole new you know file system completely within the registry <laughs> impossible to track right and it's all weirdo names I've got a Q drive but there's no Q drive here but you know they, they must have installed a driver and and the drivers using these uh, key that's what I'm thinking right. Eventually, <laughs> it's too funny. I thought <clears throat> that had nothing. That has nothing to do with anything. It looks like anybody who's a slightest has the slightest fear that something's going on would look at this, which is Explorer, uh, presumably trying to set this icon, um, being redirected by some rootkit to some virtual drive that exists in the registry when really somebody I don't know I can't remember where I found it out. I mean I still had the well it's in my history. Some somebody with a sense of of non panic, right? Figured this part out. Uh, before the sounds thing. The sounds thing came after I saw it. Uh, now, is it this? Now I'm looking for because all these files are, have RKR, right? As their extension. And RKR is uh, uh, it has a meaning, <clears throat> a meaning. Uh, and, and not a bad meaning, it's just some resource something or other. <laughs> They're encrypted using rot13, right? The RKR, in fact, is, is, a, is a valid extension. Uh, um, under rot13, ro rotate13 means you take the alphabet and you rotate it halfway. The alphabet, uh, thankfully, our alphabet anyway, has 26 letters, so if you rotate the letters uh, 13, and then, you, then that makes them all jumbled, and you rotate 13 back again, you get and you get um, what you started with, right? So RKR rotated 13 is EXE. <coughs> so I wrote I wrote a little program to, to do the rod 13 dance thing, uh, not take, taking you know no. no not taking uh, any regard to um, uh, 
the file that I'm looking at. Like I exported those, one of those keys. Note C R K R rot thirteen. That's that's the register key, right? Now if I rotate all all of this, so some of them don't need to be rotated because they're um, they're in brackets. So for this file, I would want to skip over. Well, these. Are, Oh, that, that's already. I have to clear this. Where's the, where's the beginning thing? Uh, these ones are in brackets, don't need to be located. They're, they're correct. Let's do, sorry, more. This part says H key current something or other. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, Raw 13, these ones. Uh, and this is probably fine too. But, uh, you know, some of them turn back into words. Windows, Control Panel, Taskbar. Uh, no, 64. This probably doesn't have to be. Uh, no, it, it can't be. Um, it shouldn't be rotated. See, I'm ro here I'm rotating hex numbers, right? So you got to be a little bit careful, but whatever. We can see that the, these things, at least some of them, are just... They're just using that stupid rotate by 13 to, uh, to make it less obvious what they're looking for. Right? Well, that's great, you know. I'm not sure what the goal is. Like, is it to is it to make people panic and you know start reinstalling their computer? You know, of course, most people wouldn't have registry monitor, right? Maybe I shouldn't be using registry monitor because everything in here is a great big lie by this point. But at least now I did find that out. And, okay, photo viewer. Why is it looking for that? Now I'd like to find out where it's finding finding that icon. It might actually find. Maybe it's in this list somewhere. Data the WordPad. It's going through a list of all these things. Now this this of course is. Explorer, so I mean, it's doing more than just adding one icon, it's doing its other usual stuff. See, video down because that that must have been when I opened this. All right, okay, default install, remake. I gotta find media encoder. It's somewhere in there. Maybe, maybe I'll find out. Now, it might be that one of these great big long things is simply an icon image, right? Now, it has to be pretty big. Aha, uh -huh. capture small. You know. <laughs> okay, so then there's that problem. Then all my sounds were, weren't working. But I found out what the reason for that was. That was uh, actually, again, my own fault. My own paranoia. But uh, it's not too bad. It's just that this, this guy. Oh, here, here. No, that's not it. Sorry. I went to I went searching around online for something and I just happened to cross this page here. Because I was looking through the task scheduler and a whole bunch of scheduled tasks and I didn't think that I really needed them all. Like why do I need this auto check proxy blah blah blah? 
and somebody's collected a nice list of a whole bunch of things you can just turn right off. You know, don't even worry. So I did, dutifully, turn everything off. I certainly, I don't use Windows Backup. Uh, media sharing, no. Uh, error reporting, no, I might. I don't know if I want that off. <laughs> Some of them I wasn't sure, like, why would I turn off System Restore? But this actually, I do want this off because one of the things that bugs me about System Restore is I can never go back, you know, to, you know, last week or last month or something, right? Because this thing is scheduled to start every time you log on or, lo or start the computer, I guess, it makes a System Restore point and then tosses out the, the next and you end up with all you, and sometimes it fails or it just doesn't work and you end up with like one restore point from yesterday usually so if you turn this off you can make your own restore points and uh, restore points typically will be made when you uh, install something which are the ones that you want to retain not, not uh, just like every day right I made one it should still be there if I can just find out how to get to to one of these advanced something or other I find it so difficult to manage to uh, navigate this thing it's not it, is it this I don't know if you run system restore program that only allows you to do a restore I want to view the restore point uh, maybe this you'd think that, would, that sounds like a good place but it's never, it's never right <clears throat> it should, I made a restore point Usually, when I make a restore point, it's gone within like a day or two. No worry, computer management. Hello. Ugh. See what I'm saying? Where's system restore? Where is it? It, I know it's not service, task schedule, okay, control panel, go away, system restore, system backup and restore me, I don't want to do that, no, no, action center, no, no, you'd think that would be it, something to do with restoring, now there's system, there's something called system that might have it. Maybe here. Okay. Configure. Maybe. I don't want to configure it, I want to view my restore points. Where is it? That's, let's see, that's my problem. Hmm. Settings. It's really, Im it's really impossible to find any system restore. Now it's going to ask. I know. Okay, make, I can choose one and not cancel. Ah, see? It's the last one I made. And all these other ones haven't disappeared as they usually do. They're still there. Now I'll leave that. You know, and then there's probably even a few others. No. So that was a good idea, turn that, turn that one off. Remote assistance, of course. Power, analyze. Now this is the one. 
system sounds service. Why is he saying to disable that? That turns off things like you know the function message beep. That that stops working. And my well, you can't hear it maybe. But for caps lock or num lock, I get a beep, and that lets me know I have pressed it by accident. Right? I know if I'm in caps or small, or if I hit num lock by accident. Okay, so well, although some of this was good, because of that one, I lost a few, a lot of hours trying to get my sounds to come back, and I lost even more hours trying to. Figure this stupid thing out. <laughs> it's turned out to be nothing. But still, it's still that icon. I, I want to kill it. I want to kill it. Look, even in here, it's got the right icon. Here, it's got the right icon. But here, where it's a, in conflict with this, it's the wrong icon. And, and it, try to change Chrome's icon. Go ahead. Chrome's connected to the internet, don't you know, don't you know? It can restore its icon whenever it pleases. Uh, so that's it for that. As it's, as you know, I've been also been uh, getting sidetracked with other things, uh, trying to make that tier. Uh, I, I I gotta have a look through all this now and see what what all these are, what they're here for, I don't know. It seems to be using the C one and not this F one. I wish there was a date on these things. There's no properties, nothing. I think you can get it. Somebody in the world has to has to write a decent Registry editor, just the edit, just the editor part. This part, right, is um, cumbersome. There's no drag and drop. Uh, it's not a very nice display. Editing is not that easy uh, for numeric values like D words. It, it, you know, doesn't default the decimal, which is what you usually want. It's it's a mess, right? And uh, okay, the power tools thing had a, if it still existed, they had a good registry editor and viewer. Um, I assume that uh, that other guy probably has one. I might, I might have even downloaded it. I still haven't had a chance to look at all of this program. Well, I only looked at one to do with <laughs> what else? To do with program icon it's in my utils. Called uh, what's it called now? Just sort of like, uh it's got a, it's got a uh, <clears throat> help file, I said. File types, man. Now, that's USC, okay. Now, this is it's quite interesting. It takes a while to, to fill them all up. Not too long. Not as long as it takes, you know, the um, event viewer to sort one of its lists. Ergo, they're using, you know, um, STL list colon colon sort, which, as you saw, is about a thousand times slower than it needs to be. And uh, yeah, so one of the things now is this still. Oh, maybe because I did a system restore. Because I changed these. So maybe, oh, okay. So I might have to lock these. Uh, 
See, I, I don't want this. I don't, I don't know why I would need it. If, if something explained to me why I need it, then I, I might keep it. But uh, no explanation. Um, now, where is it? Where, how did I change that again? Properties? Uh, I think I just changed this to um, text. Not the F5, maybe. But it should change. Um, oh no, it's B2. Okay. No, I must have done more than that. No user choice. Oh, that's the icon, I see, I see. So if it's perceived as text, then that shouldn't be the case. Well, it could be. That's right, that per perceived type doesn't actually change change what it is. Okay. So I need to um, change the open action. Not remove it. Um, I don't know. Okay. Now, I don't like the fact that it's a type of application that runs. Oh, I don't like that. I want to refresh this. So, whoops, edit, edit. Uh, what is it? Text, mime type, txt, text, file, plain, plain text? What is it? What's the mime type for text? Plain text slash plain. Uh, yeah, and I should do the same for all these. No, have they all changed? That is what I don't want to do. Is have it not work for the, the one? The one thing I do want. Oh, see now, I, I, I did it wrong. I did. I did it wrong. They, they're all linked. <clears throat>
No, I don't remember what the actual path was. It'll probably, it'll, it'll, you know, if I run the program, it'll fix itself. And I want to prevent it, of course, from doing that. Go away. Okay, they're all fixed. Although this still says tech plane. As long as that's, I'll figure this out eventually. I know that I know how to change them uh, individually. I did it wrong. Anyway, that's one of its programs. As you can see, it'd be quite useful. And um, now, dot wme. Here's the open command. Here's the icon. Here's the icon. Uh, right, that's that. So I don't know. There's nothing I can do with that to change the icon. I don't know. As far as the tier goes, uh, yeah, you saw that. If you saw, I uploaded this picture, and um, yeah, 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 okay. Now, what is this? I closed the program. That's why. I closed the program. And it was asking a question. Uh, yeah, um, it's a little. It's tricky. It's trickier than the other one because you it, you can't seem to cut copy from one face to another. Well, I'm not sure. The, the thing that I did and uploaded, which I want to fix, of course, uh, I did, most of that was just by hand. Hand clicking around. There was actually that, and then there's another thing I want to try and do. I got with that, my special magic scraping method. New special magic scraping method that I'm trying to figure out. Anyway, so I got a couple things on the go. Uh, later on, hopefully tonight, I'll, I'll make a quick, quick video about um, about uh, finding those um, ad, turning the turning our address into a module name. Okay, see you. Oh, look, I found it. That's when I should have the record. <laughs>